man, oh man, am I excited to get outside and put up my Christmas lights, said no husband ever. Are you crazy? I mean, think about it. You think I want to climb up on my roof line, break my hip? Now there's obviously a few things out there like the home run back crack and sax wax that could possibly be worse than hanging up Christmas lights. You gotta store this stuff. There's an inherent cost to it. And about five years ago, I got to my breaking point where I was like, enough is enough. I'm 17 feet up on a ladder, looking down at the stairs, wondering when I'm gonna fall. And then six weeks later, you gotta take all the stuff down. Now, there's some wins in here. I mean, the wife, the kids, a lot of the neighbors, it makes them really happy. But the fact of the matter is, I either put them up too early or took them down too late, and I gotta hear from all the neighbors, hey, Harold, look at those guys, still got the Christmas lights up all year round. And you know what? There's a reason, because I hate hanging Christmas lights. So then on the flip side, you start to shop around to get somebody else to put them up and to take them down. And the fact of the matter is, it costs a lot of money, $800 to $2,000. You want multicolor bulbs everywhere and make it all look nice? You're like two grand for 200 linear feet. Have somebody else put them up, take them down to store them. So then I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm stuck. So what's the next best option? Permanent Christmas lights. Now choosing a permanent lighting company was just as difficult. I mean, for a guy like me, it takes me like a half hour to choose a candy bar at the store because I got to figure out the grams, the weights, the carbs versus the sugar, every the whole nine yards. And there was no difference in frustrations trying to find a permanent Christmas light company. I finally settled on a company called Jellyfish Lighting. I was on a quest to find the best lighting system out there. I must have called a dozen companies across the nation. Whether they sold in my area or not, I didn't really care. I wanted to know the ins and outs. Now, I always asked them who their top competitors were, and Jellyfish Lighting came up half a dozen times. What are the biggest hurdles that each one of these companies faces is the brightness of their products. What Jellyfish did is instead of putting one LED in each light, they put three. Now, as a result, it gives you triple the brightness from any competitor that only uses one LED per light, which was my primary concern. I wanted something that was gonna last a long time and be seen very well from the street. I gave them a call. They gave me a free estimate online. We mapped out where I wanted the lights. They set my expectations, let me know that they can't do around the windows, which I was a little bit bummed about, but they can do the dormers. After going back and forth for a couple of weeks on where I wanted the lights and where I didn't, they offered me a trade. I give them money and they start the install. A few short weeks later and we were off to the races and they were at my house to do the installation. Now I want you guys to understand, they did not sponsor me. I spent thousands of my own dollars to get this installation done. They did offer me a very small discount to make this video, but I am committed to you in telling the story on how it all went, both good and bad. Now, one of my first concerns was I want to make sure I got a lighting system that was going to match the house. Now, they take these tracks, they measure them out perfectly, and you notice the color of the track that they choose is the color that matches the house. The Jellyfish representative ensured me that they carry all standard colors. Now, this is a very common practice, especially with gutter companies to match the color of the fascia. It's very common for the installation process to begin by or near the garage because that's where they put this central computer system and the primary source of power. Now, they mount a bracket on the fascia and then they put the electrical wiring with the lights through the track and it looks seamless. Once all the lights are plugged into the track, they simply clip the track into the mount that was installed into the fascia. Now make no mistake, there is some drilling involved, especially when you round corners. They end up drilling a hole to go through the soffit to fish the line to the other side. There's no real cause for concern considering that the track is going to cover this hole. The soffit mounts are slightly different than the fascia mounts where the bracket gets installed directly into the soffit. And then the lighting rails are then secured into the mounting bracket. It makes for a nice, clean look. Don't mind me. Just testing my new lights, baby. <laughs>
These guys were really good at what they do, which freed me up to do what I do best, and that is lay six stripes in my lawn. Gotta say, I was kind of shocked when I added up all the man hours, and it was well over 50 hours that it took to do this installation for the front and the backyard. Which means for a guy like me with zero experience, probably would have taken me 100 to 120 hours or three times longer than what it took them. So what do people regret that they didn't get done? Because with jellyfish, it's kind of nice. If you just want to do the front face, you just do the front face. If you just want to do uh, the dormers, you can just do the dormers. But what are the regrets? Uh, most callbacks are for people that want to get the rest of the house done because they liked it so much on the front. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and the neighbors and the people across the street and family. So it's a really word of mouth and, and it, it picks up pretty quick. So. Shoot, sounds like the ginger might have some regrets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After our little chat, I started getting a little bit of FOMO. So I had them add on the pergola and also the shed in my backyard. I, I figured make it feel like a little workshop area and extra Christmassy. My only gripe about the install was this one wire that got left hanging out in the open. It's a little bit of a self-inflicted issue. Traditionally, they install the boxes on the side wall of the garage, and I had asked them to put it up in my attic space since I already had power up there. Now here's how the system works. It goes from this control unit or computer and connects wirelessly to your home router off of a 2.4 gigahertz signal. The next step of the process is to download the Jellyfish Designer app. The app is the heart of the system and allows you to communicate with the central computing system that lets you change virtually everything. The first thing the technician and I did right out of the gate was create different zones. Now I've got two controllers. I've got one controller in the front yard and one controller in the backyard. Now each one of these zones is completely customizable. So you can see I've got my back pergola, I've got my shed set up, and then in the front yard I've got my east, my garage, my lower west door, north, south, peak, dormers, etc. So if I want to do something completely customized in each zone, I can. Now, if you're not the creative type, don't worry about it. There are about a hundred different type of preset lighting in here, all divided by separate categories. Now with Jellyfish, sky's the limits. You can go through and customize any of these preset lighting programs to match exactly what you want. So if you want a Halloween program that is bursting lightning, you can do that. If you want to control the speed, all you have to do is flip the lever to the left or to the right. If you want to control the brightness, you could do the same thing.
So I've had my jellyfish lighting up for about a month now. I really wanted to dive deep and just figure out what I liked and didn't like. And I must say, it is a crowd pleaser. I've had four people physically knock on my door just to see what system that I went with because the colors are just so vibrant and popping. And there's a couple of downsides to using permanent lighting. The biggest downside is, is they don't have a way to do and wrap around the windows. They also don't have a system that ties in to the bushes, which would be nice. I get asked a lot too, can it play music? It cannot go to the rhythm of the beat. I really wish it did. Now, rumor has it that in the future, and I don't know if that's gonna be next year or three to five years later, they'll possibly have something where you can dial into an AM or FM modulated system and get something that dances with the music, but that's for the future. That's not right now. Now, another thing that I get asked a lot of questions about is can you turn this on and off remotely? The answer is no, you cannot turn it off remotely, which is a huge bummer. Now, I anticipate that they should be able to fix this problem fairly easy by throwing money at the wall because it's already tied in with my Wi-Fi. Now, the Wi-Fi that it prefers is a 2.4 gigahertz signal. Now, for a lot of you guys out there, you're thinking, ah, oh, that doesn't matter anything. Well, it kind of does, because if you have a router that differentiates between a five gigahertz signal and a 2.4 gigahertz signal, the rest of the house is gonna be on five. This is gonna be on 2.4. Now, I've also heard a rumor that they're working on that as well to get it all merged together. So it's not quite perfect, but you can see, man, it is popping. And it looks really good. And so far, very pleased. It's really this easy. You literally just push a button and it comes on and you want to change programs you just float through there's really nothing else to say but this app is super user friendly i would say if i were to be super picky about it the one thing that i'm frustrated with is you'll notice when i hit the play button there's nothing to indicate that that actually went on uh, on my screen so if i was inside which I constantly am. There's nothing that tells me that it changed colors on the screen. One of my favorite features that Jellyfish offers is a schedule. You can really, really get this dialed in. So if you want to do it on a daily like I have, you'll notice that I set it up so it comes 15 minutes before sunup. Now it was Halloween, so I can just come in here, pick whatever I want. Let's just go with the warm, cool lighting, hit the save button, and we're done. Now, if you really wanna have fun with this, you can go into, into the calendar, schedule an event, which is one of my favorite things to do, and then you can uh, select your pattern. So I'm a big Lakers fan. I'm gonna choose Lakers colors, and then I'm gonna choose the game dates and I'm gonna go in here and program it so every game day that happens, that'll really piss my neighbors off, which is awesome. Now, I think my worst nightmare is I just didn't wanna be that person where you're driving by their house and you're like, hey, it's March, where are the Christmas lights doing up? You believe that, guys? Christmas lights are up all year round. Now, in all fairness, though, normal C9, C6, they look like a scab that you just wanna peel off and tear off. However, with the permanent lighting, and let's just call it that because it's not just for Christmas, you can set this up in decorative modes where you're setting up one white light as a spotlight shining down into your landscape. So it's kind of the reverse. Instead of having lights in your landscape shining up, you've got lights along the perimeter of your house shining down. Now, the other thing is, is we have that dreaded daylight savings time, right? Now we're back on standard time and I can't stand it because it feels like it's midnight at 1 p.m. And now what I 
found out is my kids really love is we can crank the white lights on. Now for you ladies out there, don't worry about it. You can change the warmth of the light. I know a lot of you guys are sensitive out there. So through the app, you can change the brightness and the hue on how white or yellow it becomes. Now let's take a look at it from the inside of the house to the outside of the house. I mean, it is bright. It is so convenient. If you want to go out at like five o'clock at night and shoot some hoops with the kids, they can actually see. Now for all you cool cats and kittens out there, the Ginge is going to show you the difference between the Walmart special LED lights and the jellyfish lights. Now, don't get me wrong, the Walmart lights are pretty cool, but when you watch me turn on the jellyfish lights, it just lights up the night. There is no comparison. <laughs> I gotta say, this is so exciting. It's 25 degrees out, the lights are up. I know I'm not gonna have to stress about taking them down. The app is so user-friendly. Watch this, you just push the button, bam and it is reactive too but the vibrance of the color i know it's going to be difficult to show on camera but i've done the best job that i possibly can but these colors are so vibrant the thing I like most about it is the power consumption is very minimal i'll put it to you this way you add up a hundred of these bulbs on the brightest white setting that Jellyfish offers, that's the equivalent of one 60 watt light bulb. LED technology has really come leaps and bounds. LEDs can last up to 20 years these days. As for the warranty that Jellyfish offers, they have a one year covering labor and three years covering parts. So if one of your diodes goes out, you can either replace it yourself or they can send somebody out to help you. The lesson I learned through this entire process is these are not just Christmas lights. They are accent lighting for your house to be used for any and all occasions. I figured I'd use it for maybe Halloween, maybe Christmas, and I find myself using these lights every single day. You name it, I've got an excuse, whether it be my kid's birthday party, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, Halloween, my favorite sports team for basketball, football, uh, croquet. So if you're in the market for accent lighting, buy once, cry once, and enjoy it. Now I feel very fortunate to have found a company like Jellyfish that has the brightness, that has the software updates, that has the customizable capabilities that I wanted and that I felt were necessary to create a good user experience, but also one that would make me feel comfortable with my decision years down the road. But if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Till the next time, guys, this is the Pest and Lawn Jija. We're out. Rolls Royce, do you approve of this message? Looks like you're working hard. Hardly working. <laughs>